Welcome back, y'all. This is either a standalone finale or the continuation. I have a set of rules in my head, depending on how long this will take. It depends on whether this will be a standalone episode or additionally right after the, the end of the other one. Or whatever. You, you get what I'm saying. Doesn't matter. None of this matters. Okay. It's locked from the other side. We're in the hospital. We're low on health. All we have is a lantern and a stick. Oh, good. There's a menacing sound of other things being in here. Hopefully we can find some stuff, especially some stem packs. That's why I'm going to call them, because they're basically just health syringes. And it's like the exact same thing, except it doesn't have like the rubber protector sleeve things. You know what I, re you know what I ju just realized the other day while I was playing Fallout 4? Is that like Fallout 1, or maybe not even Fallout 1, but I know Fallout 2 had like the super stem packs. And that did not, that never translated over to Fallout 3. I can't remember if it was in New Vegas. I don't think it was, but I know it wasn't in Fallout 3 or in Fallout 4. And I kind of missed it. I don't know why. Like, you could level up your, like, doctor ability and your regular stem packs would heal more and basically do the same thing as a stem pack. But I don't know. I think I liked it more to where you had, like, two different ones. Like, you had, like, the big heal and then the super stem pack was, like, the ultimate almost, like, full heal. No matter how big your health was. I think I should have brought it back, just for fun. Maybe cap out how much a regular stim pack can do. Like, maybe the medical things still boost them, but not as much. Because, honestly, the stim packs in Fallout 4 did a lot already. I think, like, even at, like, base level with no medical upgrade, there was, like, a third of your health. Like, that's a big, that's a healthy chunk. And then by the time you, like, level up your medicine, like, maybe just one time. Let's go the other way. There's a whole lot of nothing going in these rooms. Honestly, I'm like, I'm talking and half paying attention as well, so I might have to check, double check some rooms. This is definitely the little kitchen area with the microwave was supposed to be coffee maker. This one's someone's bedroom, obviously. You can tell this is where the teenagers come to smoke. This was a communal bathroom where they stole the toilets. That's fine. But I don't know. Ooh, that was actually a separate hallway altogether. Oh, it was the only way to go. Yeah, I've already been in here. So I went, I went this way. Let's try the other way. This is the elevator. Doesn't appear to be working. Gate blocking the staircase. Needs electricity. Probably have to go downstairs for that then, don't we? There's crickets. There's an ominous wailing happening over there. So we definitely have to go over there and beat up whatever that is. The lock just smashed in. It won't budge. Smashed in. Another the kitchen area. Is that something I should be concerned about, or is it nothing? Or is it just ambient? Terror building ambience. Sounds like I'm getting closer to it. Whatever it is. What if it's downstairs or upstairs? It could be upstairs. I wonder, what's, I wonder if it's one of those TV head dudes. That's what's, I think that's what they sounded like, right? I'm also hoping that it's just ambience to freak me out. Just the regular old horror ambience. Alright, so there's absolutely nothing here. On this side. Hoping for at least a stem pack, you know? I haven't been calling them that, I've just been calling them health syringes like the game calls them. I already tried this door, yeah. This back door is locked. Alright. I think even the staircase is the correct way to go. I'm gonna go ahead and finish exploring over here, though. 
Did that. Yeah, they had several kitchens. Plenty of cooking space. Not a lot of live, laugh, love space, though. Some people left the closets. They took everything else. They took the beds. They took the beads. But they left the closets. They took the toilets. They left the radiators. No smoking, by the way. All right, so there's absolutely nothing over here. Lava we'll area to explore with nothing to gain from it. Oh, oh, like at least one stem pack or a gun. You know what I mean? Would have been nice. All right, here, the action center. Action Jackson. Oh God, it's quiet. We're so deep in the earth we can't hear the rain or the wails of the damned anymore. Oh, that's open. Anyone in here? This long, creepy, dark hallway that goes down that looks like the correct way to go? I'm gonna go the correct way just yet. Well, there's nothing over here. And there's nothing over here. This is locked. This is the staircase. Okay, so I have no choice but the progress. Fair enough. Spiral staircase in the dark. Danger, no smoking electrical. Another spiral staircase down to the abyss. Another door. No save points, though. Oh. Some lanterns, some light, a flashlight. Can I hoop stink? Let's change this up. I'll make you number one. And you number two. Now, if I do this, is this better? Can I not dual wield with the flashlight? Wait a minute, what? Oh god, am I override still working? I thought I thought with me leaving the game my console commands would have cancelled out. If that's the case, hold on, we gotta switch them up. I could look up how to turn it off. I feel like we've already come so far. Uh, it's simple, really, though. All we gotta do is make you number two. And you number one. Really regret making them numbers. I could... Hold on. Did it, did it save them? Did it save my entries? No, it didn't. Actually, it did. Hold on. Change gravity to... Uh, I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Because what I could do is just make them different buttons. Right? No, I didn't, didn't go back that far. We went too far. Doesn't save it. I could <laughs> look it up. And then type it in. Uh, did, did I write them down or did I just straight up look them up? It's not important. It would just be a little bit nicer and easier if I did. Honestly, well, the flashlight gives me ranged light. The lantern definitely gave me something else, though. Hold on, can we? Now, if we unequip it, does it stay on? Oh, I don't. I don't get the double light. Still, that's lame. Oh, what's this? the doctor. Okay. So that turned power on everywhere. 
This is gonna be kind of flip opposite if now the monsters spawn because the place is well lit. Someone left some trash there. A single bag of trash. Find a locked gate. Alright, whatever. Oh yeah, that is what's gonna happen. They were enjoying the dark. And now that I've get illuminated the path, they're mad at me. That's okay. Oh god. Ah. Did she have a baby burst out of her? I don't want to explore this area now. Now I'm seriously running low in health. Oh, God! Where's your gun? Inventory full. Well, we have a gun now. Doesn't have its little flashlight, though. I'm gonna have to use it, though, because I'm running low on life. <laughs> Hello, health. Oh, God, really? A syringe, please be a syringe. Thank the maker. Inventory fool, he gets. <sighs> All right, I think I can leave the stick behind. Oops. You know what? It's fine. There we go. I think I'll use it. Call me crazy. Now a shotgun, some shells, a decent amount as well. But I can't use my flashlight while I'm doing my business. God, ah, God bless it. I don't know why that always confuses me. Okay. They had a basketball court, so wasn't the worst of Saint Asylum to be at. A bowling alley? Are you sure this is an insane asylum or a rehab center? Holy moly. They have glocks, they have notes. There's something strange about Dr. Purnell. A Purnell note. There's something strange about Dr. Purnell. <laughs> you know what's really strange? Leaving black and red notes that are super huge to take up the whole page at the bowling alley. But they're at the bowling house. Oh, they're 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 <laughs> they're petrified to the ground. That's unfortunate. Doctor Purnell, are you in there? Ooh, son of a bee sting! Oh, I don't have my bag. Oh, this is stupid. We'll just have to remember that it's there then. Notice. Poopa Stank's contemporary. What's that? Soap? They dropped the soap. That's what all, all this cursed... That's why all these curses happened. That's why I'm seeing all these fragmented dreams and nonsense. Some people dropped the soap and ruined it for everyone. Oh! <laughs> well. I bloodied his... I bloodied his balls, at least. There was no reason for me to come in here, though, other than exploring. Unless there was an achievement for killing all the demons that they, they were killable. And I guess that's one of the hidden ones, because that's all- he was guarding nothing. He must have been the guy that dropped the soap. Alright. 
try to remember there's a health syringe in the bowling alley and move on with our lives. There's nothing else down here. Unless, like, there's a puzzle that says, Oh man, I could really use a bowling ball to solve this puzzle. Where could I find one? What about this? No, seal chat. Hey, nice demon heart. Ah, Fanta, Fanta, huh? Fanta? That guy's a really big, really big um, uh, f fan of the soda, huh? Adam Tinshy. Is that like a joke? I should know. Alright, that's where I came from. That's the power room. So we want to go back upstairs. Everything's well lit now. Oh no, it's not. Cry at me a river, lady. You, you up the staircase? Ah. Oh, I forgot the dodge thing. If you click the things just right, you do the dodge. Everyone's doing the crazy dodge. Not crazy dodge. There's a little bit of light. Not enough to make me feel better about my life, but. Really, I couldn't get the shoes and time together to give me some extra shoe pockets. Like, time to my belt loops. Like, man, a shoe could hold a clip for a gun. Or a syringe. Right? Just tie them to your belt loops, man. Make some pockets. I'm half curious to go explore these areas again now that they're lit. See if enemies spawned. Am I supposed to kill them all? Do some of them carry guns? And ammo? Maybe not. I'm overthinking. Am I supposed to just go up the staircase? And not kill everything? Elevator work now? No. Someone's doing some weird breathing now. This corn is still wailing. Kind of reminds me of uh, Nightmare Reaper. Alright, I guess I'll go to the staircase then. I sure like to custom decorate this stuff, don't they? Into the kitchen. They have bullets there. Oh, that's weird. A pointless hallway next to the kitchen. Was this like a half office? Was this like the, the cook's office? 2009? How'd they know? That's the year that album dropped. What was it called? Oh. Well... That looks like progress, so I'm gonna go this way instead. <laughs> I like how we just saw each other and I was like, what's up? I'm gonna go touch things now. Don't panic, that was just the dodge. There's another health kit in the yellow room, second floor. Remember that. We're in a clearing mission. Oh, what do we have here? Hold on. Always. Expect the trap. I want to go in here? The door is locked. And the sign's saying staff quarters. The staff quarter in here. Wait. This is a double door? There's a door leading to the world's tiniest hallway. To another door. To this little organizer place. Alright. Well. We learned nothing. The lock just smashed and won't budge. So that someone is behind the door. I have a feeling someone is behind the door. I guess they'll bust open later. The lock just smashed in. I have a feeling someone's behind the door. Let's go further up then. I'll never expect that. Ooh, outside.
I killed the ghost lady. I don't think she even like aggroed me yet because of the angle. The angle of attack. Alright, there's an upstairs save. Oh, I need another key. Is it the same code? Do I still have my notes? Yeah, somehow I did that didn't say in the bag, but I lost. I had this in my pocket. Alright. No, it wasn't this. What was the code? I'm trying to remember what the old code was. Was it like 2749 or something like that? And I'll write that down. Personal note. Jeff, welcome to the team. Two hours. Supervisor. Oh, I remember that. I, I don't like... I don't... Uh... <laughs> no, these didn't have the codes on them. No. Mm -mm. Not even close. I can only exit and then it takes me out of the whole menu. I forgot that it does that for some reason. Alright, let's go talk to the doc, I guess. Nothing else to do. Play a month the monkey monk and I went the wrong way of course he went he went this way well hello doctor come over here so we can talk I want to talk what the fuck do you want you're crazy I won't cut your head off I can't there's a big fucking gate in the way that's why I want to be Ow. <laughs> you got a gun. The subway. The guy you shot. Remember? I want a new gun. Look, just open the gate, will you? I'm tired of all this. No. There's a new gun in the boat now. Get it for me. I... If... I do. Can you open the gate for me? Yes, I have the key right here. Go and get it. Fine. What kind of story and progression is this? Bring me a gun. Can I just give you one of these guns? A bowling alley gun is what you need? I'm gonna have to put something down to get it for you, aren't I? That's the case. Well, now it's too, it's too dang dark. It's too dang dark. So I'm gonna put my shotgun down there just to bring him back a gun. That's the case. No, that's stupid. We'll leave the shotgun up here. Hopefully there's no huge set piece. <laughs> this is gonna be weird, but you know how you wanted a gun? I'm gonna leave this one here. <laughs> this is my second gun. You can look at it, but don't touch. Make sure the demons don't touch it either. Alright, I definitely don't want to have that conversation again. Let's go ahead and save up here. I can already tell this is gonna be its own episode. <laughs> this is is way much more stuff. I didn't expect a fetch quest. Ah, God! Oh God! At least the gun game runs well. Where'd you go? Did he quit? That's a new guy. He takes four shots and he has an axe. At least I know now enemies respawn down here. Where are you? These screaming Mimi freak jobs? Yeah, I hear you, but you're like locked in a room. I gotta go deal with Bowling Alley Boy. Alright. This way. I believe it's this one. No, this one then.
This is so a mental hospital with a bowling alley. Doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna look this up later and be like, do more, most mental hospitals have bowling alleys? And I'm just misinformed. One of those healthy mental hospital bowling alleys? Oh, he didn't respond. There's no gun down here. I'm in the bowling alley. Am I the moron? That's soap. Is this supposed to be like a Modern Warfare reference? I bring him the soap? He's like, what kind of name is soap anyway? <laughs> I specifically left a new gun in the bowling alley. There it is. AP, it's a 45. It's got no bullets though. Why does he get a nice Ruger 45 ACP pistol? I gotta have this Glock. It's not bad, but it's not a 45. It's a very special gun for him, though. There's something wrong with the doctor. He's not right unless he has a gun, so let's go give him a gun. No bullets, though. That was a part of the deal, so he shouldn't complain. I promised to bring him a gun. I never say anything about the bullets. Might as well come back up here and save, though. Okay. Getting an okay, not perfect, but decent 3D version of the map in my head now. There you are. Guess what I have for you? Will you give him the weapon? Yes. Here. There's no ammo in it, though. Now, give me the key. The fuck? Kill you! <laughs> what? Inventory full? What do you mean inventory full? He shot me. He freaking shot me. Why did he shoot me? He shot me. Yeah, that's nice. I backtrack just a little bit, summon an axe man. Yeah, that's fair, that's cool. Someone up here now, huh? Got a second ghost lady? <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to the doctor, I guess. Ask him why the hell he shot me. I'm glad I can trust you. <laughs> Shoots me. Doesn't kill me, though. That's another thing. Didn't kill me. Shot me in the shoulder. What was that? That's how he tests to see if the gun's working? Oh, find a phone number. Yeah, that makes sense. You find a phone, you find a phone number. Use the mouse to look around. Use the use or attack to cancel. What am I supposed to be looking? Through the window? Kind of dark out there. The phone number scrawled somewhere. I thought that window was blocked off. How is it so well lit outside? I also when I look into the telescope, it's darker than a black steers took us. Was he watching me? I mean, is that what I'm supposed to be saying? He looked right at me and he was like, that looks like a guy who knows how to get a gun from the bowling alley. 
<laughs> Nothing in there. Keep looking over here at this one then, I guess. Come on, lightning. Give me a, give me a flash. Give me a zip zap zoop. Am I not cool enough for the zip zap zoops? Well, that's nothing. Do those things explode later? Like, what the hell am I supposed to be looking for? Is that a phone number? Are those PSN, like, money codes? Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna find out later that the, that's pointless. Alright. Oh, well, I guess the shotgun lives in this room now. You got the staff key. Hey! The doctor has locked the door. Who would have thought? He likes doing that for some reason. Get away from me, Simon. You're crazy. <laughs> Bring me a gun, by the way. It's an option in the bowling alley. At the end of an alley, by the way. By the pins. Not a normal location, no. Adam Tensta. It's that name again, but now it's a stick figure hanging itself. Why is it? That name is everywhere. Is that supposed to mean something? Uh oh. He's new. He wasn't on the floor before. Am I slowly losing health? I think I am. Let's save real quick then. <laughs> I think it's because he shot me. I think I have to find a special item. Maybe it's in the staff room. Come on guys, let's go. Now the staff room, if I remember correctly, this is where I came in from. So the staff room, I believe, was this way, right? No, it's the other way. Where is it? Did I, did I get turned around? That's not the. T yeah, it's gotta be on this floor. Where are ye, staff room? Throw yourself, and the deal is done. You're the one. Why is there two doors? Oh, it's the double hallway thing again. Was it not here? Was it downstairs? I remember it being downstairs. I could have sworn it was here, right? Smash. Smash won't open. The whales of the dam do not guide me anywhere. They lied to me. Alright, let's go downstairs again. Go upstairs, do a fetch quest, get injured, do another fetch quest. Do you staff only? No, this is the way to the power room. Nothing else. Staff room, staff room, gotta find me a staff room. It wasn't over here, because this is the basketball court, right? Yeah, was it this? There's my stick. The fire doors are sealed. I remember running into that door, though. I remember running into the door that said staff room only. And it definitely was not in the bowling alley. Those are sealed off. That leads to power. These are the only doors down here, yeah. Was it on the second floor? I could have sworn it was on the first floor. Am I going crazy? Am I talking sandwiches? I could have swore it was a door that actually had like a weird sign that you couldn't read, but you could read above it. I was like, watch out, this room's staff only. Maybe it was on the same floor. Yeah. Right? This is the second floor? Yeah. Maybe it was, I think it was over here then. No. 
to this one. Ah, what the? Where even were you? You can't be doing that, man. Why is it glitching more now that I'm near the end? <laughs> wow, look at the staff room. You like to come in here and relax as we go to take a break. We have a chair and a lamp. Gonna confuse it too. Oh, is that all it is? I already had one of these, dude. Oh, no, they're knocking. One minute, I'm shooting up. Oh, I'm still losing health. Oh, that's lame. So I'm just on a timer now. What's this? You got the left broken plate. Left broken plate? For what? So she slammed the door, cried, then left me a broken plate. That's nice. I'm glad. Ha! Ah. Well, you're dead now. So that's good. Oh, I can go out this window. Ah, what the? Jerk. Where was he hiding? Like, bro, I just got here. I'm gonna jump out. Oh, I'm on the second floor. That's right. Go ahead and save again. Probably shouldn't be making all these saves like this on the one save file. Probably should have separate ones. I should have kept one for before this doctor shot me. This would be a hell of a time to introduce the sniper enemy. Alright. Oh, can I not use this ladder? Is this ladder for dream dreams and wishes? <laughs> oh, there's the other staff slab. Should probably find out where they go first, though. I don't want to have to like pick it up and put it down because I don't get a custom slot for specialty items. You unlock the latch. What's in here? Oh, I'm behind the counter now. Good for me. Let's start doing separate saves just in case. All right, now that I'm back here, where do the slabs go? I don't even remember seeing a thing that said, here's where the slabs go. You got slabs? Does anyone remember a spot where the slabs go? Do I fill, I put them in the window so that I can see them through the telescope? I wonder. Well, this happened over here. No? Nothing? No phone numbers either. Bleeding to death. The walls are screaming at me, cause yeah. There's a staff room again. Was there a phone number in the staff room? She gave me a slab. Let me look, let me actually look at the slab. Hold on. I need a stone plate, something's engraved but broken away. Can't use it. Is 
Does it go outside in the monument? Was there a monument? Hold on, wait a minute. die because I can't figure out where the slabs go. That's good. Was it downstairs again? I'm trying to use all of my logic points in my brain data. But my brain daddy is coming up blank. It's like where? There was nothing, never a part of the areas where I said this looks like a slab could go here. This looks slab worthy. I guess we'll try to get into that room up there. <laughs> Do you want slabs, door? I got slabs. In case you need them. My beautiful little slab daddies. Block to smash. It won't budge. I can't even get into that room. Can I smash my slabs into that room? That's not even a door. 2009. No slab knowledge here. So wait, going through this door is pointless because I can just go outside right here again. Like, can I just jump this? Maybe not. Alright. Oh. Ah, come on! I knew it! Where was he even hiding? How did he hide so well? I couldn't see him from an angle? Inventory full. Ah, isn't that nice? Isn't that beautiful? At least, at least the ta slabs glow in the dark. Stone plate piece together form two halves. Five one one seven three eight. Find a phone number. Is that not it? Nine uh six, right? Is this door open now? No. The lock to smash won't budge. Yeah. Good thing I'm not on a timer or anything. Come on, dude. Be a bro. Alright, well. I found the phone number. My health is low. I might as well use my second save. Because then, if like things get real bad, I'll just go to my third save and then do all of this again, but faster. <laughs> Hopefully that'll work out for me. I don't like this. I need to reload soon. This is the wrong way. Wait, what the hell? What? Okay, you gotta be holding down forward, otherwise it'll just turn you around. 
That's nice. You know how doors just turn you around when you open them? It's stupid. Oh good. I have to I have to remember it. If I don't remember it, then I'm I'm the jerk. Alright. Screw the rules. I have something called paper. They never expected me to have this. Yeah. And that's a seven, right? Seven, three, eight, nine, six. It's not even a complete number. All right, but it'll have to do, won't it? You gotta go. That can't be right. What? Wait a minute. I just wrote this down. I'm looking at it. I'm going, well, that's wrong. I've got a sloppy handwriting. I, my five looked like a nine. I was like, I don't remember it being that. God bless it. We're running out of time. I have one bullet in my gun. Hey. Right. over here thinking it's doing something and it makes the weirdest like alarm sound I've ever heard. Oh good, yeah, 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 yeah. I aim everywhere except for where he was. Oh good. The board said 3749. Okay. That's for the upstairs door, right? Inventory full. Do I need that later? Does this tablet go someplace? Fuck it. Bring the numeral crate. Go to the attic, see if the doctor is there. Might as well, separate save. God forbid you make a little, little 3749. Are you in here, Doctor? Can we end this now? Oh, good. I'm gonna make a tiny bet. I don't need the tablet anymore. I'm just permanently have less health and I'm losing health. Oh god, is this a boss arena? I'm gonna have to be running around while losing health while he chases me with like a syringe or something. Is he gonna be shooting a gun at me? There you are. You're dead! You're so fucking dead! 
It is. Like for me, he sucks compared to me. Oh, if I get too close, he just shoots me in the face. Oh, okay, that's good. Now I know, though. You know what, go ahead and drop this. 3749. All right, several things are gonna happen now, real fast. Oh my god. The menu systems. Doctor's office. So I live and breathe. What else do I have? Do I need this for this? Just for convenience for this fight. Hopefully I can come back and grab that, otherwise I just screwed myself. But I'm gonna have these on me. Actually, you probably should start. Go ahead and... And then... Let's end him quickly. And also remember not to get close to him. There you are. You're dead! You're so fucking dead! It's gonna be me underneath the mask, isn't it? Wish I was a better shot. Wow, the shotgun sucks. Why'd I even bother? Pistol is doing more damage than this. He's got friends, though. What are the odds of his little dude boys spawning now? So they're gonna come in and give me a business problem. Do I get grenades or something? Because this is, like, what is this? Do I have to move back and forth in order for them to do stuff? <laughs> I didn't say I equipped them for a reason. Show me you! Show me your moves, doctor boy! Is it over? Was that the final boss? Are they spawning those little Side freaks? The pills by itself won't make you feel better. You have to do something more than that. I don't care how old this mod is, they need to fix that shotgun. treatment called cognitive therapy. What's that? We taser you in the brain. Well, it's a set of exercises you do. A way to forget the past. All the bad memories and anxiety you have. 
Are you interested in books, Simon? I don't know. Why? All right. I just wanted to find out. Because I want you to try out something. I want you to write a book. A book about how you feel. Do you think you can do that? Just become an author right now. I guess so. I can try. Writing therapy. Oh. No. No. So when are you going to take off the mask see who he was? I mean, he did shoot you. Only safe at home. Escape the mental hospital. So I, I just came here to kill him? A box of revolver ammo? There hasn't been a revolver in this entire game. What? You, what? what? Excuse you? What's this? You got the back door key. What do you do, Basil? What does it all mean? How dare they? That is so irritating. Revolver ammo? Was I supposed to get a revolver at some point? Oh, and uh, so this is not going to work. Do I take the Ruger even though I have way more ammo for the regular pistol? I mean, like, what's the... I guess I could go open the back door and then come back and get my flashlight, but that doesn't make any sense. Or come back and get my... Come back and get the freaking more powerful pistol, but I'm losing health by the second. Right? Did that effect go away? No, it didn't. I didn't feel full heal. Alright, it's risky and stupid, but I guess I'm gonna go unlock the door, then run all the way back here to get that gun. Oh, there's a lantern here. Wait, the birds are singing. And the storm is over. Still balls dark here, though. If I remember correctly, I don't need to go down there. What do you mean you don't need to go down there? That's where the back door is. Is it the back door? Sure, it sounds a nice out there. That don't mean nothing. Actually, I probably should save after I do grab the gun. They had the audacity to give me revolver ammo as the last reward for a gun that's never been in the game. Is that supposed to be a joke? Like, if it had, like, the all guns, like, mod on or something? Dude was using a Ruger, and I get ammo for a gun he wasn't even using. That is just bananas. Oh, look, it's actually daytime. Find your way home. Is this my house? Do I live here now? I don't trust it. More revolver ammo. What's up with that? What is up with that? Wait a minute. What is up with that, dude?
Tell me I can I could I could pick up one of these lanterns if I want. I could become lantern boy instead of have the flashlight. This is one of those decision things. I'm gonna take the flashlight. I heard what sounded like a car. Oh, okay. There's a door. Is this common in Sweden where they put put a bunch of walls around the forest? Is this my home? I have to take a boat to my house. This is quite the defense from the demons. In the boat. Oh, this is kind of cool. Do I just die out here in the middle of the lake? From my gunshot wound? From the one guy who was trying to do self-defense? What a weird mission, though, right? Hey. How do I know I can trust you? Screw you, doctor. Go get me a gun. I need a new gun. I left. I know that there's one unloaded 45 ACP pistol that I left. Ruger ACP, by the way. I left at the end of a bowling alley, and not just in the bowling alley. It's at the end by the pins. I left it on the ground right there. Could you go get it for me? Sure thing, Doc. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, the option to kill me right then. <clears throat> But instead, he wounds me. Was that symbolism or something? The doctor wounded me by asking me to write a book? What's with the creepy music? Also, the sky is kind of like flickery. Did they couldn't get that to scroll smoothly. That is a tiny house in the middle of nowhere. Can I get back in the boat? I can. Is it possible? I know it's not possible. I was gonna say, is it possible for me to go all the way back to like the train crash area? Then just jump off? Looks like my bleeding stopped temporarily, or is it just it slowed down a lot? This is my house? Looks a little Run down. You're gonna, you're gonna find a bed and be like, finally, I can rest. Up dog. He made a, one of those eyes. He drew a afro dude. Span <laughs> he wrote in Spanish. Backwards languages. Wait. Why am I still getting equipment? Should I? No, it's darker than a rat's tuchus. I can't take that health. And he gave me revolver ammo too. What? these ladies? Why are they running at me? You give me plenty of revolver ammo, but no revolver. Is that one of the decisions that was like in the secret area or something? Is this the boss run? It's in here. Nothing? Seems like a waste. There's 
still demons chasing me after all this time? There's some more hell. I'm going back into the sewers. It's took his dark. They brought back the jump water boys. Well, this doesn't help me avoid him, really. Is this thing on the ground? No help? How many times have I hit the button for you to do something, dude? So just the kill them all sequence. Getting ridiculous. Well, I have to be like this, don't I? save point by the way you just gotta do that water section all in one go and know exactly what to do it just to have more health I don't know I <laughs> there's no strategy involved at all actually I just whatever <laughs> there it is go under ground kill three sea dudes Come up fully. So you don't waste any ammo on them be having their invulnerability slots. If you screw this up, you just gotta do it all again. Also, it's dark down there. Are there air bubbles? Did I just miss them? 
Oh, there are. Okay, that makes things a little bit easier. Oh good, oh good, good, good. Good for me, good for me, yeah. Yeah, make it to where the holes are hard to enter for some reason. For no reason. What? I'm swimming, <laughs> are, you, are you kidding me? Am I covered in Vaseline? What is that? Good. Oh, my flashlight just punches now. That makes sense. Are you shitting me? What do you mean it's locked? There's no key in here. There's a key somewhere down here. At least you get your health back once you get some air. But still. Oh, there's two paths here. I didn't see that last time, Quasimodo. Also, why am I swimming slower now? Oh, good. Boy, am I in Florida. What's gonna be at the end of this hallway? Good things? The key? You ever play a game and for some reason the opposite of wanting more, you feel like it just doesn't want to end? Inventory for What am I supposed to do? Wait, I'm supposed to run and get in the water before he kills me? He did, this isn't the time when you finally get, get him. This is stupid. I like how the... I like how the Ruger just disappeared to the void. Alright, I'm just trying to prep myself up because I'm gonna hate this part so much. I already hate it so much. Do I just fall in? Okay. I still hear the sound. Does he just live over there now?
I better not have to keep on running away from him after I unlock this door, I swear to god. Now, do I risk going back and saving, or do I just keep pressing forward? Oh, good. Oh, oh nature's back. Save point. Health. More revolver ammo than the revolver I don't have. Good thing this uh, sewer pipe was open right at my neighborhood. not going to work. Yeah, there it is. There's that revolver ammo. So upset. Doesn't that kind of give it away? That you're not going to get the good ending? The car interiors are still destroyed. Is this my house? Door won't budge. What about this tiny pink one? A oh, revolver ammo. Yeah, yeah. That's a good sign. Is the revolver the cheat gun? Like the only gun that can kill the um uh, chainsaw guy? Come on, let me in. Oh. I'll save my flashlight. Came home. A gun and a flashlight. Two guns, actually. Actually, no, I dropped the other gun so I could pick up that key. Couldn't even keep the fancy Ruger. I'm confused. They just give me shotgun shells and an assault rifle? Is it, the game becoming a joke? Is this a meme? That tells me I'm still not out of Kansas. Oh. I see you decided to ignore that barrier. Really hard. You just decided, you know what? That's it. What's that? Oh, it's a sledgehammer. Oh, if I wanted to beat people's heads. I found home. Oh, well, I was going to say, it was just... Dick is dark in here. Well, good. Now I have to get <laughs> stabby children blood out of my house. Hey, I'm picking up those clips without adding to my total clips. What's up with that? What is happening? Someone's out there. Wait, do I even need that? My health keeps on coming back. Wait, how do I... Z, right? Yeah, there you go. Is this my bedroom? Like, I just walked right in. Garage over there. Oh, it's the bed guys. Hey, bed guys. Sounds like there's another one over there.
I don't see this one. Was that not my house at all? Did I just steal this person's gun? Family walk path. That's good to know. I'm hearing cars. I'm shooting. <laughs> I'm shooting bed babies. Just having a good time in my neighborhood. Can I ride the bikes now? Is that too much to ask? Ooh, someone spawned. Maybe it was you. <laughs> there you go. You guys are using regular guns, right? This is very weird. Trying to get the completionist bonus. Kill all the zom zoms. Very rude. Wait, where'd the blood stain go? Oh, there it is. Gotta say, use that to help me find the gun. Once again, into the dark. Well, I can pick up the lantern. If I put down the flashlight, you can get the lantern again. That's telling you that you're going to need it. It's going to get dark again. Maybe not. It's all designed to lull, lull you into a false sense of security, I guess. I need to reload both these guns soon. Can I go into other people's houses now and touch their stuff? Does someone have a revolver? Here. I'll probably say something once I get to my actual house. Seeing the nightmares during the day does make it kind of weird. It's also kind of cool. What the hell is that sound? Is the case you somehow kept the shotgun, were a fan of it, use it effectively to where you somehow kept it as your main weapon up to this point. Man, I didn't know people back in this place would be this, like, trapped. You know, there's just ammo and guns everywhere. Finally home. Hope mom's okay. Hope she doesn't mind that I brought this M16. And this pistol and this flashlight, they're all not mine. But I'm keeping from now on, because apparently my life's just full of demons. Was this, did I need the sledgehammer to do like something special? Because I know this is like one of the only two places that also spawns. Please tell me the light switches start Mom? actually working here. Mom! Where are you? Mom! Mom! There are lights. Nice bathroom. Where's the hallway light switch? Is that it? Oh, that just leaves. Uh, Mom's not here. I'll go somewhere else. Yeah. I'll go hang out over here. I can't turn the light switch on. Well, at least now I can relax with some TV. 
the day is finally over with. Hopefully all that insanity that happened outside never happens again. Oh good, a safe spot. Yeah, why would you not want one right here? Is it my bedroom or mom's? Looks like mom's. Oh, a cutscene. It's my room. My book I was writing. I finished my book, and now it was time to finish what I had started. Oh, it's a serial killer. The hell? Simon? Who the fuck's Simon? Simon the serial killer? Was this my apartment? How's this boss fight work? Well, this is stupid. I'll just wheel myself into his insane asylum holes. That's gonna make it very easy for me to dodge him, I guess. I well, notice my wheelchair is also covered in blood. So is this about me, like, killing a serial killer and discovering what he did or whatever? I'm very confused. Also, is this the vehicle's top speed? He hit me, and he hit me good. Stupid wheel legs. I hit him good too. That was definitely a trade off favoring him. Where are my knees? There they are. Shot all kinds of guns at me. Should I risk the reload? I'll go for it. Dang it, my knees aren't right. I'm losing so much health, I'm not gonna be able to kill him. <laughs> I hate this. This is unique and original, but not good. You freak. How am I supposed to fight him like this? Ah. 
Oh good. Yeah, let's do that again. The fucking Even now that I'm used to the control and you can't skip the cutscene, so you gotta see all this mumbo jumbo again. I can't This 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 is not this didn't age well for me, alright? I'm sure when this first came out, people were like, man, they put so much work in this. And it is awesome, because, like, it's just a modding team, but... If this was a standalone game... I feel like I'm already tearing into it quite well enough. It's giving me so many problems. But now the wheel, the wheelchair fight... Oh, good. Oh. I was about to say, I guess I'm just in the void now. Fuck. Do I get a health kit? What's in my inventory now? Nothing. I got my chair and my gun. I got my chair and Gladys. So I'm very confused. Was I going to kill myself, but then decide to kill a serial killer instead? Instead of calling the cops, I decided to enter his hell dimension. Alright, so you definitely need to hit him, shoot him better. Alright, but I can't, I can't use my iron sights. Even though I'm technically in a squatting position. I made my shots, shots should be better. So it's like a puzzle fight. <laughs> and it takes so long to pacing because you gotta wheel yourself over there Line your knees up so you're going straight and you gotta tap it just a little bit because it's never gonna be perfectly straight That was good it's Definitely better than last time. He still managed to hit me though, so that sucks I think it's designed to be a trade-off up to a certain point Sorry, man. I can never go perfectly straight either. Cause like, every time I turn, I move. I can't. It's like a weird amount of degrees. Look at this. It's like 15 degrees just for a light tap. Go ahead and reload. No, oh, man, you could probably get another one off if you were really good. If you somehow were just really good at mouse keyboard while in wheelchair. If you had practiced this run over and over again to be the best at the wheelchair scene. Alright, he should be weak enough now, I think. Can't wheelchair backwards very fast though. Did I get him? He's a top SOB. Alright, here we are. The final countdown. Oh my god, that is so annoying. There's no straight. And you can't trick it, you can't like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> the fuck? Okay. Here we go. It's gonna, it's gonna lag glitch when it summons him in with his flare. God, that guy could take some bullets. Like two clips. Was he high on PCP or something? I remember now. I murdered the serial killer. I stopped myself from doing it. From committing suicide. But it didn't only leave me alive. It also left two police officers dead. I killed them. Shot them both. This was not supposed to happen. Doctors testified that I was having a psychosis. 
which means that my punishment won't be too hard for me to bear. I have to spend the rest of my life in a mental hospital, where nurses and doctors are taking care of me. They let me finish my book, and uh, it has helped me a lot. I wrote a happy ending. There's supposed to be five different endings, and there's supposed to be like different choices you make. I feel better but now. But I do not know I what those choices were, because there were none. The game was super linear from my perspective. Wheelchair. But, uh... I accept that now. I can never forgive myself for shooting those two officers, though. Why is that but what I happened? So what was the whole serial killer thing? Now, so. How did that connect to two I, police I officers? That is so, so out of left field and weird. Dr. Purnell is mentoring me and is watching my progress. I am lucky to have him. Sophie visits me every once in a while. When the doctors let her, that is. They still think her visits are too destabilizing for me and that it hinders my progress. Sophie's so alive, that's good. I keep on good. telling her how sorry I am for making her life miserable every time she's here. She, do, she just laughs a bit and tells me to stop being so silly. But I can see the damage I've done to her in her eyes every time she looks at me. She found a new friend. One who is there for her and treats her right. I'm happy for her. Though, I'll miss the good moments we've had, knowing that they'll never come back. I think this is a good time to close this book. It has changed my life forever. The end. So he got into a car accident, which gave him mental problems. So was Sarah Carolyn not even real? Good horror game. Very well made. Using only the Half-Life 1 engine. Did not enjoy it though. <laughs> that ending made no sense. I don't, do not get that. There was no hint at him killing anyone except for maybe he might have ran over a kid. That was kind of hinted in like the second like nightmare dream. That he might have ran over a kid in his car accident, right? Or no? So it was serial, like it doesn't explain if the serial, serial killer thing was real. Also, it's just not my style of game. That hindrance of having to manage my inventory so... What's the word I'm looking for? Anally? With much difficulty? <laughs> Definitely not my style. Very... Very irritating. The unkillable chainsaw guy? No, thank you. Why did you give me a shotgun? That was so deceptive. First time I get a shotgun, a little while later, a dude busts through a door with a chainsaw, and my instinct is to run and not shoot him? What? My... How does that make any sense? Interesting choice of how to do a ending title crawl. Backwards? Or do other... Or do other countries do that normally? Top top to bottom like that? Every single time I've seen a movie or title crawl, even video games, it was from the bottom up. I swear, I don't remember any of them doing this. But, it's different. Do not like Chainsaw Guy, do not like the way the inventory was portrayed, do not like, uh, what was it called? How weak the shotgun was, how bad its range was. I didn't like that ending. I didn't like the wheelchair fight. There's a lot I didn't like. Awesome though, they put a lot of work into it. It's very well made. For a game, for a mod made from the Half-Life 1 engine. That's pretty awesome. A lot of people worked on it too. I... I remember playing through Half-Life 1 uh, as, uh, what was it called? Black Mesa, the Black Mesa updated version. And I liked it a lot. I mean, to think 
Like, I mean, I've seen videos of people play regular Half-Life 1, and that whole, like, implementing that inventory system, that was crazy. Also, where was the revolver? What was up with that? Gave me so much revolver ammo at the end. Never saw a revolver anywhere. Very weird. Good, but weird. And definitely not for me. Uh, as far as how well it was made, gotta give it like a 9. Because that is, all, that is way different from Half-Life 1. Not to mention they had their own voice actors. They made cutscenes. Although the Doctor one was confusing, gotta be honest. <laughs> he was like, go get me a gun in a bowling alley. Some of the choices for boards, I guess, were questionable. Like, that one near the end was, like, probably the one that stood out the most of, like, really? That's the puzzle? <laughs> Go get my bowling alley gun. No, thank you. Thank you for making this. It was amazing. But I just liked it a lot. Oh, mod dev hoodie. Ah, oh, yes. Because I want to go through the game again. A Simon suit. Oh, developer commentary? That'd be kind of awesome if I could turn on God mode. Unlock secret package. Unlock nightmare mode. Unlock book page one, book page two, book page three. Unlock doctor mode. What's doctor mode? That's actually, I'm kind of curious about that. Where is it? Hold on. Does it just start me off in here? This isn't doctor mode, this is regular mode. Just to see. Is it in here? Do I do it inside the game? First you start off with a nightmare. I've always felt alone. All right, let's quit. Let's quit. Hold on, load it back up. Real quick, before we end it. Where's doctor mode? What is doctor mode? Is it different? Do you play the game as differently? Do you finally get to use the revolver? Oh god. I forgot how long sometimes it takes to get it going. The real G-Force experience right here. That's the campaign. Those are all the custom campaigns that are made, and some of them you have to download? Are these, like, all separate campaigns? Should we go through these? Oh, okay. Ah. Maybe we will. Maybe I'll look it up. I think this is a fake tour. <sighs> these all have like a bunch of short mini campaigns, or are they actually full length? As long, I'll look them up, and as long as they don't have, uh, invulnerable, invulnerable chainsaw guy, I might be actually down to go through them. But that was Cry of Fear. I'm gonna leave this one here for now, and then I'll research some of those other custom campaigns, so you can go, go through those. But my final thoughts were, a fine game, very well made. Definitely a little janky, but it was like a completely like standalone mod, its own campaign. Very long, surprisingly long. In fact, it was so long that there was a point after the mental hospital of going from there to my house. I was like, okay, this is starting to be kind of a drag. And then I had to go to the sewers again. I was like, this is 
this is a banana sandwich. De definitely not for me. That is not my style of game that I like to play. I played it just because it had good reviews, it was free, and it was there, you know? I, I decided to do something different. If I ever did a game like that again, I would definitely want it to be maybe a modern one that will let me cheat and cheese it a little bit more. Because <laughs> the only thing I could look up and do properly was how to turn on Super Jump, which helped me out for that one scene with the chainsaw guy, and I had to pick up the doorknob and shove the doorknob in, because I was super worried, because the game doesn't pause when you hit tab, so I was like, is he just gonna cut me in half over and over again when I'm, like, standing there by the door trying to get into my inventory and put the doorknob on there? So I cheesed it, and that seemed to, like, break its AI, I think, because I think I remember hearing him stop chasing me after I jumped. So. Anywho. Cry of Fear. And I might be back with more of those Cry of Fear custom campaigns. We'll see. But thank you all. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that like button. Keep on posting. I'll see you all in the next game. Y'all take it easy. The fuck? Kill you! <laughs> what? Inventory full? What do you mean inventory full? He shot me. He freaking shot me. Why did he shoot me?